been MSM didn't really have a home yeah. for quite some time. So it's definitely uh, exciting to see. Uh, I, and I'm sure Ultimate's excited to see it, like, the turnout, especially. I know like the guys at Hat, for example, are also really excited to see those huge turnouts happening, especially with this new game. But enough about that. We got to talk about Suga and Arrow on our stream right now. I'm excited to see some Link play. Uh, I, mean, I, I too am a, a man of the of the Twitterverse, and I see Link pull off so many of like these dirty like combos with bomb and <laughs> working off of it. Yep. That's one of the most exciting things I think about Ultimate, the new bomb mechanics for Link. Yeah, if you, just just by that one bomb change, I feel like Link has a lot of uh, potential. Especially because uh, other characters, like you'll see like they're good neutral, you see they're good hitboxes, yeah. etc. But they're kind of characters where, like what you see is what you get. Right. But for example, Link is like, okay, I got this bomb. What can I do with it? <laughs> and the possibilities are seemingly endless with it. But right now, what we're seeing right now is Arrow not really using that. He's just using that Nair to be able to stuff out those approaches coming from Suga. And Suga, of course, playing Yoshi, and you know, don't, 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 uh, don't count Yoshi out either. You know, this character has also got quite a few upgrades, I would say, from the Smash Four variation. Yeah, I, I feel like Yoshi was already still good in Smash Four. It was just that some new characters that popped in kind of screwed him over. But now it's starting oh, off. Oh man! <laughs> okay, gotta get that run up. Arrow, up arrow got smash. red right there. It says I'm coming out with a forward air. Nothing you can do about it, my guy. Yep. I mean, as soon as you see your opponent just drift below the floor of the stage, and you can kind of tell it's like, all right, they're gonna just gonna go for a high recovery. Let me just stop it right now. Yeah. And it's always something like you kind of feel like you know that it's coming. All the Yoshi's like to run off forward air. It's just the thing Yoshi's do. But every time, you know, like, even if you're determined not to get hit by it, you still get hit by it. Right, exactly. So there we go. Again, those Nair stuffing up the approach. Up is finally going to get that up tilt to be able to get something started. And those trades are working out just fine for Suga. Now, oh, my gosh. I actually went through that uh, down air before it could come out. Yeah, and Suga playing this really well. Just not really uh, letting Arrow get comfortable to set up with the projectiles too much. Able to put on quite a bit of damage when he opens them up. But fortunately, if you're Arrow, if you, you know, you've taken some of Suga's best hits. And we're sitting dead even. Yep. Oh, some good spacing coming from Suga to say there's a pivot around those neutral layers that has been stuffing his approaches so far. Didn't quite get the turnaround, though. Now they're both uh, Arrow got a little bit of a stage of mana. See if he capitalized. Overcommitted. Oh, and yeah. ended up costing him. Yeah, that's very easy to whiff punish if you know where they're going to land afterwards because they're kind of just stuck there holding out that sword. So great call from Suga to be able to take that next stock. There's a, an up B tried to, you know, put the stock away early. Yeah, usually what I see Arrow do is that in out-of-shield situations, he'll throw out the up B. Now that you don't have to jump cancel it, it's even easier to get those setups going and uh, take out the stock. But we're not quite seeing that from Arrow. I don't know if he's just trying to get warmed up or what's going on. But uh, it's definitely different from some certain play I've seen him do before and barely surviving off the side platforms too. Oh, did that take it? Oh, that was a great bomb. Hit him out of the double jump, then there's no coming back. I mean, the only thing Arrow or Suga might have done was air dodge. Yeah. But I feel, other like a, than that. I feel like a direct on air dodge might have worked there, but just kind of. I, I know some people kind of forget to realize that direct on air dodge is available to them to get back to the stage, for right. example. Yeah, especially if you're not, you know, if you don't know you're getting hit by that bomb, it's uh, it's really hard to avoid. And Arrow trying to make a little run at this. It looks like he was comfortably in Suga's lead, but don't look now. Arrow's putting on even more damage. Yep. And I like what Arrow just did there. He put the he threw the bomb on the ground while Suga was still in the air, forced out a directional air dodge. That way he was able to punish it. Because of the threat of being able to detonate that bomb anytime rather than being set on a timer, mm. makes it so much more versatile for pressure situations. Oh, this is going to kill. Wow, I got him with the guard break reversal up special to kill. Yeah, you definitely got to be careful edge guarding Link because he can be reversed that super easily and because of that added movement that you can do, you can still fade backwards and make it back to the stage. So it's definitely not an end-all, be-all move for Link. He can still have that safety net. The uh, new the new boost back. kick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a boost kick with swords, my friend. Boost kick with swords. Yeah. But it's still a good play from Suga. Like, I saw like the potential that he had in his play. Like, he can definitely take the set over Arrow. It's right. Just, like, just uh, kind of got uh, either anxious or something at the end. A little, a little greedy, I think. I think you hit that first forwarder and you're feeling yourself a little bit. You're feeling like, oh, I got this. I'm in the match. And then you go a little bit too hard. And, you know, credit to Arrow for able to reverse that situation. Kept yeah. the presence of mind and put away that stock. Ooh, down tilt to up B. Actually starting off a combo really strongly here. <laughs> Did you see that? He, <laughs> he, like, basically wave land on the platform to get some spacing going. But now we got the big combo coming from Suga. Already 44%. 
Yeah, yeah very. Like, it's almost even a very quiet 44. percent like, None of those moves seem too too powerful. But all of a sudden, we're just you know looking at a pretty even game. Yeah, uh, Suga, gotta be careful about those shield drops. <laughs> there are a lot more frames than they are in uh, Smash 4, so you gotta be careful. Unless you're trying to parry, then otherwise it was just an unfortunate read. Suga able to work his way out of the corner, got the egg lay. And of course, Aaron, a little bit of trouble. Alright, there we go. You're trying to mash out of it. Oh, I like the attempt to set up from Suga. Didn't quite get the hitbox that he wanted, and a runoff fair is gonna be able to do it. Hit him with his own runoff there right there. So yeah. I, you got me with that first thought. Let me let me repay the favor. Like, let me write it down in a <laughs> notebook for next time. That revenge, man. Oh, okay. good. Good parry down special. He had that scouted out for days. Like, oh, I know he's going to nair. I got this. Don't worry. Yep. Especially against characters with the long-lasting uh, nairs and uh, other hitboxes. Definitely easy to see what they're trying to do. So you can try and get parries like yeah. that. Just to be able to punish it. The same, same thing why I think sword characters might slowly move out of the meta. Still be good, but not completely. It's just that you'll be able to parry telegraph sword characters. Yeah, the, the walls might become a little yeah, bit more easy to, to read through and parry through. Exactly. Kind of shield drop and do the egg lay on him. Didn't quite work out, but we got the par parries coming from Arrow. Again, probably taking it out from his books. It's like, all right, wait a minute. I, I, know, I, I know this is a thing. Let me, let me try it out right now. And oh man, he's just like Suga's like, where do I land? The bombs right there. Didn't really know where to go. Was able to sneak in at the edge of the stage. That was actually a big opportunity from Arrow. Oh, okay, that'll work. <laughs> I thought he was about to follow up with something after that yeah. first air. I, I thought he was getting up aired by Yoshi, <laughs> and yeah. then he came out with the uh, you know uh, Galaxy Brain IQ down air, counter the situation. Big parry coming from Suga, but still not able to get any more damage to try to steal up the stock. Really trying to focus back into neutral. We got a big grab going in and putting him off stage one more time. And there we go. There's that special. That's the one we're looking for. Yeah. And Arrow and has a little bit of control in this match to see what kind of extra credit he's able to get on this last stock. Try to build himself a comfortable little lead. Of course, Suga trying to rebut it. We got we got we got audio on the game right now, but we do not have video. Oh, there we go. We're back. We're, we're back. That was weird. Okay, yeah. here we go. Uh, Suga has, is, is, or, uh, Arrow got a fort. Oh, what? <laughs> what just happened? Uh, like, did he hit himself with the bomb? He detonated <laughs> his own bomb. It was really weird. Looking like me on uh, day one of Breath of the Wild. <laughs> right there. The game over for Link. But, of course, uh, you know, Arrow has a few more stocks than uh, I did when I played that game. So. Yeah. And I feel like in general, you're not going to quite see uh, Suga try to throw out the bomb or try to grab the bomb once it's on the ground. If, if you're holding the bomb, then you can't detonate it. But yeah. on the same frame, if you both uh, detonate and pick up the bomb, then the bomb detonate will win. So it's very dangerous to try and actually uh, get the bomb in your hands. It's usually not worth it either because you can't detonate it yourself. And uh, don't look now, but you know, after having such a commanding lead, arrows, uh, Suga's brought this right back. It's dead even. Yeah, just needs one good hit, one good pivot like before or a fair, just like that to be able to try and get the stock. Of course, you, can, you can't uh, tech grounded spikes anymore, so that op opens up a lot of uh, potential... Uh, kill options. Yeah, kill options for Yoshi. The up tilt, still not, not quite. Still not enough, yeah. Suga just trying to get in there and get his big hit. Oh, I think he tried to... I think he jabbed him out of that up special. Let's see. Yeah, I can feel that Suga is like just sharking for that up smash. Yeah, you can tell he's just really careful. I mean, he's got four minutes on the clock. He's got plenty of time to try and find the stock, but of course, Arrow is going to be content to throw out this wall of projectiles and make sure this dinosaur does not get anywhere near this hunter. Who's going to get the big hit first? Oh, he got the shield break and it kills! Oh, yeah, yeah, you can't even blame like <laughs> matchup inexperience with that. Like that was a thing since Smash Four. <laughs> like, like that's just that's just on Arrow. <laughs> like oh, well, I'm gonna be real here. <laughs> All on Arrow. Big play, you know, ballsy play. If he had missed that, then you know, of course, Arrow's gonna clean up that stock. So sometimes you are just hitting the right button at the right time for what you you know what you need, and that was perfect. I'm okay. sure Arrow. What he probably did was that he might have. Uh, Tunnel vision. Yeah. And I was thinking, okay, I'm in shield. Once this goes away, I'm gonna up the shield. shield. And kill him. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and it's like, oh wait, that shield breaks. <laughs> this is too late by the time we realize. And uh, of course, if you're if you're a Suga, right, you uh, you were behind by so much in that game. Uh, Arrow was running away with it, and then you're able to battle back. You got to be feeling pretty comfortable. And he got a jab lock right there, just putting in so much damage already. Yep. 
Of course, Jablock's not going to be able to let you get some charge smashes, but I think what they try to do with Jablock's in this game is just sort of promote uh, combo extensions yeah. by doing it. So that way, uh, you can do like a fast tilt or something, put them back up in the air, put, put yourself in a position where you can get a more, much more uh, meteor combo. And definitely, Arrow's got to feel like a little bit lucky right there just because he had that Jablock situation, but he's still able to hold the lead coming out of it. Yep. Uh, able to call up Nutrik up in the shield one more time. This is still a very good option in this game. There's only one frame of vulnerability, but still, is uh, to get into shield, that requires startup, and you can't drop it until frame four. So that makes it so that you can get called out and just get grabbed immediately. Trying to egg layer, open up, trying to open up the neutral game. And of course, Arrow throwing out that hitbox, maybe a little bit too early. Oh, he tried to do that pivot. That was the right idea, but the fair hitboxes were just a little bit too strong there. Yeah, Arrow doing a good job covering his uh, covering his inner. Whoa, what the read! You gotta be careful on Pokemon Stadium. Those platforms are pretty small, so Yoshi Up Smash is gonna be able to cover a lot of space there. Yeah, it didn't help either that uh, Arrow got that roll towards the uh, towards the platform too. Arrow try, trying to take a second, uh, recompose himself, try to find the kill. Alrighty, one bomb should be able to do it though. This is a pretty strong uh, projectile and kill move in this game. 176 on this dinosaur. It must be, it can be really frustrating though, trying to find that kill and hitting yourself with your own bomb. Probably isn't too great. Yeah, Suga just putting on the turbo button, being super elusive. Parries that. What a ballsy play. You're at 183 and you see a link down here coming for you. I know for me, I'm holding, oh my god, he almost got that up smash too. Man, Suga really playing with the, this lead right now. Finally, a 200% after the Nair is going to be able to yeah. take out that stock. Though. With a reckless abandon. An intelligent reckless abandon, but <laughs> reckless abandon, sir. And they're right back to it. You know, Arrow's trying to open up and get some combos going. All right, upbeat. Just going to be able to continue, get out of that pressure situation. Did you back into neutral, try and get another opening onto Arrow, and potentially try and seal the next stock on the next opening. Ooh, trying to find that pivot before smash. He did the grab instead, but of course that's just the guesses that you have to take in this game. I think he's just trying to get, you know, go for the kill. Almost got that uh, aerial situation, but you know, Link being the character that he is, even though the stop, the percentages are so far apart, this game is pretty close. Link could very easily end up taking a stock pretty early. Yep. Oh, he's trying to throw out those eggs, but of course, like those hitboxes are just gonna go right through it. But he's able to make it back just. Barely. Yeah, barely got, barely avoided the dash attack. Better than the play that the equalizer. Oh, the tail will be able to whack him off stage and seal out the next stock though. 78% only on the Suga. I mean, Link's still a powerhouse, a heavy hitter, but it's going to be kind of difficult for Arrow to bring this back. I mean, the way that Suga's been playing on his survivability, it's got to be a little bit discomforting for Arrow to think about. Yeah, he's got to, you know, Suga's got to try to recapture that elusiveness that he had at the end of the last stock. If he does that, he's going to have this match pretty, pretty easily in hand. But Arrow oh, okay. says nothing doing, stuffs it with a down smash. And we're pretty even coming into the home stretch. Who wants it more? I mean, oh my god, three up airs in a row. That's really big for Suga. And he gets the pivot force smash at the end. Arrow not picking the right landing option right there. Able to interrupt that down B though. And Arrow now is going to try and start some momentum, but gets jabbed out of the disadvantage immediately. And Suga maybe taking a step back a little bit. Now he's going, he's got his three dead up air. Wow. <laughs> 